is the reason we've got a lot of nervous energy on the show today because Caitlin and I and our producer Sean are doing that that what you just saw. We're going to be doing that. We won't look as cool doing it, but we will be doing it tomorrow along with many other people from Global. Uh, tomorrow we are Global Warning, so look out for us. We're off at 8.15 in the Tough Mudder in Whistler. <laughs> uh, Nolan Combo is the course designer, the man who is responsible for all of our sore muscles for this weekend. So thanks so much for coming in. <laughs> Not a problem. Thanks for having You're me. You're responsible for torturing us <laughs> yes. tomorrow. Thank you for that. Yeah, no problem. Okay, before we get into the intricacies and the advice that we hope to, to glean from you this morning, tell us about Tough Mudder, because this is the first one in Canada. Yeah, so this is our, our, our first time in Canada, our third time international. It's done very well. I think Canadians uh, enjoy this sort of thing. I think they've got an outdoor spirit, so it, they really, this appeals to them. So, yeah, it's yeah. The, did you say it's the second biggest event you guys have ever done? This would be the second largest event that we've done so far, yeah, after our, our, our Melbourne event in Australia earlier this year. So. Yeah, and you've done them all over the U.S. We've done them all over the U.S., yeah, for so the past few years. So this was basically a Harvard Business School project. Where it started. Yeah, so our founder, Will Dean, created this at Harvard Business School while he's earning his MBA, and we entered it in the competition. I don't think he won, but he did very well. I think the message that he got was, you know, nobody's going to come to this, you need to get 500 people, you know, good luck, it's a great idea, it sounds fun, but put it into practice, and this year we'll probably see around 500,000 participants over the course of 2012, so. And how many in Whistler tomorrow? We're going to do, we're going to see about 15,000 people tomorrow. 15,000? Yeah. Participants? Participants, yeah. Over the two days? Over on Saturday, so. Just on Saturday? Just on Saturday. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, Caitlin, uh, those are some of the obstacles that we're doing. Now, these are some pictures posted on Facebook of the actual course. I don't know if you've seen it yet, Kate. That's the ski jump in the Callahan Valley. What are we doing there? You'll be going up through the middle of those. Uh, <laughs> not exactly on the ski runs. Those are those are protected for uh, the, the Olympic ski standard. Run, yeah. Yeah. So we'll right. be running up the middle of those, but it, it still gets the same elevation gain. That's just a run. We have to run there. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's just Excellent. the normal. That'll be the easier part. Okay. So you're getting a shot of something to the right there. I, I don't think it's giving the full image, but that's Everest. That's Everest. Yeah. That's like one of the, uh, yeah. It's one of our signature obstacles, yeah. That's the, the half pipe you have to try to mount. Okay. So <laughs> while we're flipping through these pictures, uh, Caitlin and I would like to know various things. Caitlin's got a whole list of the sure. obstacles on her notepad. Which, is, which two ones do you think is going to be the most difficult? Honestly, I think tomorrow it's going to be the cold water obstacles, so probably Arctic Enema, and that's the jump to an ice bath. So that's going to be difficult on most people. Um, you should be able to shake away the cold after a few runs. So, sure. yeah. Oh, okay, so once we get out of the Arctic Enema, the key is to just keep moving. I think, yeah, the best advice I can give is to keep moving. I think a lot of people, you know, stand still, try to shake it off, but really you just have to get moving, and you're going to be on an uphill run for about 5K after that. So 5K? Yeah, <laughs> but you'll have enough time to warm up, so I gotta, I gotta <laughs> use that time down. wisely and okay. run hard uphill. Okay. Okay. Okay, 5K uphill run after the Arctic Enema. Yeah. Oh, our team is watching this right now. Okay. I'm not so good with the hill runs. Okay, uh, some of the names of these. Of these um, <laughs> Death March? Death March, yeah. Kiss of Mud, mm -hmm. Berlin Walls. I mean, electric eel. Talk about the electric shock value of this. <laughs> so, and a lot of people say when you come up with these, you must be some sort of sadistic yeah. person or yeah. a sadistic company. It, I don't think that's the case. I think we try to come up with obstacles that challenge people in different ways. So if we could find a way to challenge them mentally, we do that. It just so happens that this is the embodiment of a mental challenge. And right. we come up with these electric shock or ice bath obstacles. So, um, so electric shock, just for those who, ne who, who don't know about it, uh, these are actually electrified wires. Yeah, so electroshock therapy will be a chamber of electri electrified wires, and you have to run through a curtain of them, and they've all got 10,000 volts running through them in a one-second pulsating current. So. So you're not going to be able to get in between them? No, not really. You're gonna, you, everybody takes a hit on that one. Uh, everybody knows it. That's just kind of the way it is. But, you know, just understanding that you have to go through it, that it is on your second pulse, so there's a chance you're going to miss it. So, so move quickly, move Time through it. it. Yeah. All right. Um, any, like, last-minute training tips? Obviously, you can't train for something like the electric pulse, but... <laughs> yeah. I would say what participants probably find most uncomfortable in the course is running with wet shoes on. So it might be too late for those running tomorrow, but if they want to throw in a pair of wet sneakers, run around, get used to it, get the feeling, maybe throw some mud in there, because that's what you're going to be running through. Right. I think a lot of people don't understand all the surfaces that we'll be running on, because you'll be on gravel, pavement, grass, mud, snow at some point. So there's going to be a lot of different surfaces going on. So if you're just training on bare asphalt, maybe try some wet shoes and some mud. And get in some mud. Exactly. That's why it's called Tough Mudder. Mm -hmm. Okay, a couple more quick things before you go. The, uh, it's obviously a very fun event, yes. but it's also... Pardon me, raising money for, um, you know, for Wounded Warriors, is what you call it, the Wounded Warriors Project. Yeah, so in the U.S., we work with the Wounded Warrior Project. We're working with a similar charity here up in Canada. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, different countries have different charities. Right. Um, that's who 
we choose to work with, they're a great charity partner. We've been with them since day one. This is for wounded veterans? Yes, exactly, uh, okay. from Canada. Um, so a, a, a portion of what we make up there, we work out with uh, wounded warriors. Wounded warriors. Yeah. Okay, and uh, this is not actually a race? No, it's absolutely not. It's, it's more of a challenge, and it's more of a badge of honor to go finish and say, I've done the Tough Mudder, I did that. Um, there will be people who, who try to come through first, but you know, there's no benefit to that. The fun out there is working with your team or working with people you don't know. There's a lot of individuals that sign up, and they join up with people out on the course. And you can't help but do that, because most of the obstacles, you need a hand to get up. So right. you're going to be calling out for people to help you. See the Berlin Wall. We can't do that on No, we can't. We're not called. We did a smaller version of, of the Mudder, like another adventure race, okay. where we were all <laughs> we all needed a boost. Do you think we should ask Nolan to join our team? I think so. Because he oh knows boy. the team us. Yeah, we, we could definitely use the more the merrier. Oh, right? sure, sure. <laughs> Teammates, this is our theme song as we go to break.